Hello and welcome to Vintage Scuba Gear Australia. I get emails, messages, sort of every week on, on a, there's like 12 products, you know, in total on the, on the whole website that people seem very interested in. And one of them I thought I would talk about today is the Drager Ray semi close Rebreather. Um, this particular one still comes in its original packaging box. Um, I've had it for years uh, with lots of spares. Um, semi close Rebreather. Um, you can have 50% or 32% nitrox and they come out in 1998. I remember when they come out and uh, they were, there was talk they were going to take over the recreational sort of space of diving but they never did. Um, they're a constant mass flow uh, rebreather which I'm not a fan of um, personally but you know it's a good unit and you know when I think about it now it's you know, it's it's getting old, so it is it is really vintage. But anyway, let's um let's open up the box and have a look what we got in here. <clears throat> so they have the loop. Obviously, you've got your loop. I suppose it's a you would almost think it's a bob. Um, has a drager on it, and um, you can if you're sitting on the surface, you know, you've got your lever, you can open and close it. The way they um the snap fittings work are really good actually. These are fantastic fittings they just click in and um, really good simple to use and there's the unit counter lungs, counter lungs at the front you got your, you've got your inflator here which is you know same as your normal scuba or any other rebreather uh, that's on a wing um, yeah inflator can orally inflate so with your um so this is where your loop goes in it has these plugs that you can just plug in just to keep the dirt and bugs out and it's pretty simple actually, if you look, um, this one has red on it, red goes with red, it's pretty simple. And these jars click in, hear the click, if you listen again, there you go, click, and that's actually not going anywhere, and really, really secure. The rim breather has, has its normal contents gauge for the tank, SPG, really, really nice actually. It's, it's got Drager on it, um, beautiful little gauge, well made. Ger I mean, German, you know, they make uh, wonderful products. You have your PPO2 gauge, pretty pretty simple. It's just really got to read 1.4 on your PPO2. Still comes on this one. It's, it has the, they have a tiny little battery in them. Um, there it goes. And it will just, it just comes up with the uh, PPO2 as you're diving. So. You, you've got your scrubber in the back, but I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, then you have your you have an oculi as well, in case of you know, in case of a bit of emergency or something. Um, once again, beautiful nitrox on it. Um, yeah, it's a really well made unit. I'll take this down. We'll shift this away so it doesn't make so much, so much noise. Yeah, so there's the unit. much a beautiful unit and uh, while you're diving you'd have your um, all your gauges this is the um, your first stage where it goes onto the bottle they're an interesting unit actually to to fill the to fill the bottle you have to have these adapters without these you're a bit can't fill the bottles so once again 32 or 50 percent goes in there you've also that's you've also got a a yoke fitting so you can have two types of fitting to fill. So you've got your yoke or your din. It's a constant mass flow, and you have two two of these units. You can you can swap them out. So this one is this one's fifty percent. So if you have fifty percent in your bottle, you'd swap it out with this, and then you have you have this one if it's if it's thirty two. So, but I thought I would just show you inside. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. So at the back of the unit, here's your scrubber in here, this just comes up, and here's your scrubber in, in there. So I've got, I've got another, I've got spare parts, I'll give you a look in a minute. So there's your um, in, in dump, another dump down here, and how cool is that? Drager Ray, it's got, a, it's got like a, a ray there, stingray, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Good technology when you think about it. 1998. This is the tank that goes in it. 
once again, 32 or 50, the valve, just like straight in really. It's a simple unit, but very effective. You can still buy, you can still buy the O2 sensors for it. Um, I, I get them from NRC, NRC in uh, Germany. Um, still make the sensors, so if you want to, if you can get your hands on one of these, and um, it's in good condition, you can still dive them. You can get the sensors. Obviously, you can get saw beads enough softener line. There's where your softener line goes. So this is the Drager. That's your canister. You fill that with your softener line. Probably, I reckon it's going to hold. 1.5 kilos probably you know you're probably going to get a couple of hours out of that scrubbing um tough unit good tough unit the one the criticism the one criticism i probably would have with this unit is this is in the bottom of the unit this is in your can so your your uh, where your scrubber is the uh, oxygen cells right in the bottom so you can imagine you know after a couple of hours diving on a rebreather you do get a bit of water build up it's, to me, it's going to go straight into the cell. So, probably not the greatest idea. Normally, you know, like a uh, Revo's in the back, JJ's on the top. Um, so, dear different units, they're mostly on top or in the side. But, um, yeah, they made this and the O2 sensor was on the bottom. So, it, it would always going to get some water in it. That's that PPA2 gauge I told you about. These are spares. I've got plenty of spares. Um, probably enough to um, my lifetime. So I've got spare valves for it, you know, and I think, you know, getting this stuff now would be pretty hard to find. So it's good having this stuff if I ever decide that I wanted to um, go diving on this thing. I have spare um, SPG, spare contents gauges, and really I have just so many spares. It's really cool. Also with this one, I've actually only ever dived this unit once, it's brand new. Um, I have another unit that I used to dive. Um, still got all the manuals, all the books. This is the uh, that come with the the BCD, and it has the has the um, manuals here. Drag around manual and the PPA two, the gauge, because you need to understand that. It's quite it's quite tricky to use. Actually, push five times, push once. There's a bit of pushing and understanding those gauges. But it routes really well once you once you're wearing it. Um, the hoses route really well. It's um, simple to use. But you know, like any sort of rebreather, you just got to make sure you never get water in that loop and into your can because you will get a um, be like acid burning out your mouth. It's horrible. It's never happened to me. And I've dived thousands of times on a rebreather, but um, you certainly don't want that to happen. It's going to ruin your day. It'll probably end you in hospital. Um, yeah. So once you got it, you just, you just put them on, pretty simple. Simple to wear, simple to use. Obviously you button it all up, have your Oki around, PPO2 gauge. So this, you know, you have to watch your PPO2 gauge all the time, constant. But you know, it's comfortable to wear. Um, not flighty, not, uh, you don't need you know, weights like um, on a Revo or some other. You have to have weights on here to keep the hose down. Um, yeah, you know, years ago I used to quite enjoy diving them. So that there is the Drager Ray, built in 1998 they come out. I, know, I think after the Drager Ray they went Drager Dolphin. Um, and there's your um, constant mass flow. Cool little unit. A lot of people have modified them actually to make them oxygen rebreathers for photography. Um, you know, if you're only going to be at five or six meters, you know, great little unit for that. Has weight pockets, or not pockets, but you can put your weights in here. And it's also got one at the back you can put your weight. So, yeah, that's a good little unit. And um, it is vintage scuba as well. So, uh, it's vintage, it's old, it's, um, yeah, 1998. So, Definitely not new, um, but yeah, thanks for listening and um, yeah, I'll catch you next time.